Okay, so it's the Holistic Travel Nurse, and in this episode, if you're watching this or if you're listening it, this is my mother-in-law, Naomi. It's Naomi and Naomi show today, yes. <laughs> and um, we're going to talk about her experience with uh, oils and um, starting on supplements and her own health crises. So I'm going to ask some questions. You don't mind saying, telling anyone your age or anything, do you? No. Okay. So... Uh, a woman of experience, been around. So how old are you? 75. Okay. And then a couple of years ago when I started with the oils and supplements, you were going through some stuff. What what we have going on then in your health? Well, in my health, I had ovarian cancer. They diagnosed me with that. And how big was that tumor then? Uh, they told me that it was a pretty big size one. They wouldn't even do surgery, right? No, they had to do chemo right away. They would not do surgery until they shrunk it. And was there any other tumors or any other places in it at that time? Actually, I had two tumors, one in my ovary and one on my pelvic. And the one on my pelvic was the one that was real, real big. Okay. And my tumor numbers at that time were 2,222. They were really, really big. Yep. And you started the chemo, and we started some, just some essential oils to help you out with it, and then we started you on some supplements, and I started you on some supplements, mm-hmm. and um, you got okay with the doctors to take supplements and started in that, and tell me how you felt after you started with those with the support of the chemo. How has it been? Well, with the supplements, I have to really be honest with you. I have gotten a lot of energy. I'm able to do uh, some of my little bit of yard work that I can do outside. And, uh, I, well, I, I do everything at the house. You know, I take my trash cans to the alleys. I but before it. the supplements, you felt wiped out. I was wiped out. I had lost 30-something pounds before the supplements. And those, and then those way improved. And then you have a not so great knee, so you help, you have the deep blue and certain things that help with the knee too. Right. Because you're not allowed to get a lot of medications with the chemo. Right. And you've been doing chemo now off and on for? Two years. Two years. And we've just been doing supportive with the supplements. Mm-hmm. And then um, what, do you, what oils have you been using? What do you love with the oils? Well, I like the oils because uh, they kind of help me relax at nighttime. I'm able to sleep better. And I like it when the doctors tell me that uh, my tumor numbers are going down. Actually, my tumor number right now is six. Wow. Wow. And at first, did they think that that you weren't going to get past this cancer? Actually, they weren't too sure if I was even going to live or die. After I thought they only at first they were only giving you actually so many months with a uh, it was state was it what's it they tell you a stage it was stage four C um ovarian ovarian and uh, pelvic cancer oh and I think God is good all the time yes he is <laughs> all the time <laughs> yeah and then so just supporting your body we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna show her today about a couple other supplements when it comes to like getting support and feeling energy in your body you can. Do that. And then, I mean, you, and there are days when your diet wasn't great, right? Oh, yeah. That, it wasn't. Uh, well, as a Mexican, you fry everything. And, every, and of course, I did have a lot of trash. It hit me real fast because my son passed away in 2017 from a massive heart attack. Nine months later, my husband was hit and killed by a drunk driver. And then within a couple of months is when they diagnosed me with the cancer, ovarian cancer. That's a lot of emotional and physical trauma. Mm-hmm. And have you felt like when you're stressed, the oils help with the stress? It calms me down, yes. <laughs> and I thank God for the fusion. The, the fusion? Uh, uh, that you gave me and oh. the oils. Because those really relax me, which right now, that's the most important thing I need. Especially it's, going through that all. Mm-hmm. It's um, it's nice to... And how if we, have you had nausea with any of the chemo? Oh, yeah. And mm-hmm. I have vomits, too. 
So do you do any of the oils to help kind of just with nausea? Have you tried any of it? I haven't yet. Oh. Because I don't know which ones to take. So. We're all going to talk and I'll share. So one's great for nausea that digests in. Okay. Um, or the peppermint or ginger. Diluted rub it on your belly. Mm-hmm. But even just breathing in peppermint or ginger are going to be helpful for any type of nausea. And because um, I couldn't imagine going through some of those chemos and I... And having and having that much chemo and and not having, you've only been sick once, right? Mm-hmm. But then really supportive. And your your doctor's been amazed of how well you've been doing. Yes, they can't believe how well I'm doing. Oh, let's see, let's see. And so, and then do you have a little pills tray that you kind of set up your routine with your your supplements or oils in the morning? Oh yeah. And then in the evening, do you do the same thing? I do at night time. Oh, see, I even talked to her about using the oils with the dogs because she has two senior citizen dogs. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, senior citizen dogs would be helpful for their joints with some frankincense and lavender, mm-hmm. too. They would be beneficial just to as much as they are beneficial to you. They're going to be beneficial to the dog. But she really wanted to come on and tell us how um, those supplements, she was like, it, we start them on them. She, she went off of them for a little bit because ran out and goes, no, I need more of those. Mm-hmm. If you feel the difference. Um, and it did it take a while to feel the difference? Because it did for me at first. It did. It really, it took me, I got to say about a month. And after that, I started feeling the little difference because I did not get, matter of fact, the doctors even gave me a lot of pills, you know, two different kinds of pills for nausea. And I haven't had to take them at all because the 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 vitamins that I'm taking and supplements and oils, they uh they really help me. Yeah, yeah. They're they're an adjunct to your health and, and what it is is that our standard American diet, we have nutrient did the food that we're even eating is um, not as nutrient as it used to be. And so therefore we're lacking in a lot of areas. And, and, and if you're out of connection pieces, I always think of like our bodies as like a Lego, uh-huh. but we're not a complete Lego. Like we're missing little areas. So you look at like this Lego and you're missing some little teeny Legos, like these tiny Legos and you're missing some of those Legos. So you're not feeling like completely whole mm-hmm. and you need to fill those Legos in, with supplementation. Right. And those supplementation is really that's what it does for me. I also noticed that um, I will sleep better and I will feel better if I forget them accidentally. I don't feel as well. I feel dragged. I feel weighed down. I don't have the energy I, I normally have. That's what I feel. That's I was here. And I've taken different supplements my whole life. But these supplements made such a huge change for it actually did me too because I used to be one of those that always believed in taking vitamins every day. And when my husband was alive, I even had him doing it. But I've noticed the difference between these vitamins that I'm taking from doTERRA than the vitamins that I was getting from the stores. Yeah, big difference in quality and then you feel the difference in your... And then I haven't had that much. Um, you ever take vitamins on an empty stomach and had got major sick? Well, they make you kind of like gassy in your stomach and you belch them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I've had just almost vomiting when I took the, like, especially if anyone, remember, did you take prenatals at all? Did no. they do them back then? I, uh-uh. I wasn't sure. I remember them giving me the horse pills and prenatals and they made me really nauseous. Mm-hmm. So anyway, she just wanted to come on. <laughs> tell us that. What is your favorite oils? Actually, I use a lot of the frankincense. I love the peppermints and the spearmints. And I like, um, oh. The citrus ones? I love the citrus ones, but I don't have very many of those. Uh, but I do have uh, the frankincense and I have the, oh, what else? Well, I have a lot of, you know, the, the, Pepper. But oh, pink I don't, pepper. I yeah. put you on pink pepper. That's right. <laughs> and But those are pretty too strong yet for me. So Oh, I pink have pepper's them. a little bit. You can um, do pink pepper um, kind of added in on uh, taking it orally. It's a little strong. So you can rub it on topically then too because pink pepper is a little intensive. But it's got properties that are helpful for 
um, helping cellular health is how I want to pronounce that. And so pink peppers, that one's really good in that sense. And then like I was telling you, I didn't tell you before, like muscles and your muscles being mm-hmm. sore. People don't think about but your fur oils. So that Siberian fur, those are all good for your muscles and your muscles that feel tense. Mm-hmm. So those are, and then combining lemongrass also, lemongrass has multiple things that it does, has multiple, it's a wide range of immune support and then a lot of great things for feeling good on the joints. It makes my skin sometimes a little red, but it feels good with, mm. uh, I like it with Aroma Touch 2 or with Past Tense or Deep Blue. I love those combinations together mm-hmm. and they have that wonderful synergy effect, so like this oil has this chemistry in it. This oil has that, but they actually work better together sometimes. Okay. And, but you don't have to put them on. You don't have to like mix them. You can just put one on and then the other on, and they're going to have that synergy effect in your body, mm, okay. which is pretty cool. I think that's God's way of like combining plants and mm-hmm. and or if you were to you know you cook in the spices and you know you like your ginger with your um well I'm trying to think garlic or you want your cilantro with your uh what other spices feel really good with cilantro besides chili (laughs) but they have those nice synergy they work well together so it's really cool to have like a protocol and maybe sometimes too because you've had you told me about your night you've had some memory issues because Mm -hmm. you've done chemo for two years to have a little notebook if somebody has a notebook or they set up a notebook like I'm going to do and we're going to go, okay, so this is the things that maybe would be best to do in the morning and this is my evening routine and so that I know. And then in between, this is some things I can use or take if I'm, um, as the cold weather comes in and we feel right. like we need to be, I felt like at the Tin Man, like the Tin Man needs to get his oil out. I need to get my essential oils on my, on my, my joints so that I can move in the winter. <laughs> So I'm like a little bit of here, a little bit of there, lube them up a little. (laughs) That's how I used to. I have been doing more different with supplementation and I find that if I eat less sugar, then I feel a little better. Mm -hmm. So I always tell people less sugar, um, more protein. I feel better. If I eat too much sugar, I don't feel good. Yeah. I don't, I don't do sugar hardly ever anymore. Um, but I like like the juniper berry. I like that one, and the celery seed. Gets, you got me started that. Oh and yeah, that for your tummy. Too, yeah, for my stomach. So I do those when I have a lot of issues. Oh, I do like those. Those are so supportive to mm-hmm. our um, juniper. Is very supportive to your kidneys. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cause that's where I was having issues with my bladder and my kidneys. And those and, are supportive. And that's and yeah. actually they. Once I started taking those, then my kidneys and my bladder started working normal. I didn't have any issues no more with those. That is really, really good. And then you're going to have another PET scan and hopefully, or you got a PET scan. I already you're got to, last You're just going to get the results of mm-hmm. that and see where we're at. But see, you can, you've been supportive with and just like doing your thing plus doing the chemo and You've gotten sick once, but you've also stay well. But then you have great neighbors that help bring you yes. healthy food, too. So mm-hmm. it's God's blessings in all ways around. Um, so it's it's a combination of things that you're doing to support yes. your body during this process. Mm-hmm. And um, honestly, I have to tell you, being honest now, because I didn't tell you before, I had a friend with this cancer, and she didn't do anything else to support her. She just did chemo. And she was my age. Younger, younger than me. Oh, wow. So I went at church, um, and this was um, way before your diagnosis, mm-hmm. and it was stage four, and she only lived three or four months after that. Wow. And so I was super anxious and super nervous about what, how, about your cancer at first. Mm-hmm. I was. And this, now we're talking two years later. Yes. And you look amazing and feel amazing, and you've been able to support your body, and I just think, we're just still, still going to give God all the glory for even whatever yes. he gives us in support for mm-hmm. our bodies, right. whether supplementation and good foods or oils or whatever we're doing or medicine, we can just give him all the praise for all of it. But, oh, yeah, and because he's always good, you know, all the time. And between the oils and the supplements and the vitamins and God, I'm able to live independently. 
I know. I, I'm able to take care of my own self. Yeah. And and two dogs. And two dogs and two parakeets. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so in a lot of ways, I'm a very blessed woman because God has blessed me with two wonderful, actually all of them. My neighbors are very, very wonderful. Yeah. And very good. Um, you just met one of them. Yeah, yeah. And I, I yeah, just, I think, in the, especially in this time where everyone's been so stressed or whatever, it's good to reflect and think back and go, okay, we, we, we don't thank God for these teeny blessings. And I think of the, um, I think of Deutero and I think of my oils too, or anything I have, um, I find them as a blessing. They are. Um, and I find as a blessing when I'm able to help somebody else get started on that, uh, something that's going to help support their bodies and make them feel better in their bodies and make them feel better emotionally or physically, because Mm -hmm. I think it's important that people pursue feeling best they can in their bodies, um, for the time period that we're on this earth. Right. Yeah. And, I do, and I even thank God for you because oh. you were the one to introduce me with these oils. Yeah. And I was, one time it was Lindsay, my neighbor, and Christy, who she's an RN. And all three of us were standing outside talking. And I start, we started talking and somehow, some way, Terra came in the subject. And she says, well, who does Dutera? I said, well, my daughter-in-law introduced me to Dutera when I was diagnosed with cancer. And I said, and I'm doing them. And she said, I am so happy that you're doing them. She says, I know a little of Dutera, and you're doing the best that you can do, Naomi. Oh. So even my next-door neighbor believes yeah. in Dutera, too. It's really big in Colorado. It's pretty big on these health fanatics here in Colorado. I've been seeing more vegan and type of restaurants, and I see a, a more push for people to be eating and taking care of their body more. And I hope that people feel encouraged mm-hmm. when they hear your story and that, you know what, if it's it's been supportive for your body, then it's going to support someone else in their yes. situation. And, you know, all you have to do is 30 days and try it, and then if it doesn't work, you know, it's... it's you can return the thing, but at least that you could try it and you could do something that's going to, okay, well, I want to increase my energy. I want to sleep better. I want to feel better. I want to support my body as I'm going through whatever the doctor tells me to do with the chemo and whatever Uh medications that you've been doing. So it's been amazing. Yes. It's been amazing. And she's been wanting to be on. So (laughs) I hopefully, if you have questions or whatever, if you want to reach out, you can always reach out and we can ask more specific questions. I can always get them to you Mm -hmm. about what we do and protocols and um, being supportive. But everybody's different. Mm -hmm. And that's why I like to, and and, um, every single person's different. Like your health needs are a little different. My health needs. So, and like Michael, your my your son. son. Yeah, I will set up his supplement different than what I set up for myself. I mean, we still took the LW, but we do a little bit other things. But I set up, he complains about how much I take him, but he does it. What I have for oils for him and what I have for supplements for him is a little different than what I do. Because we're all uniquely different yes, we in are. what we need. So, but I love that he could be taking a lot of the LLV the same and I could be taking the LLV and I feel the same. And we just add a few different conjunctive things of what he needs as a guy and what I need as I'm going through menopause or pre-menopause. I don't know. One or the <laughs> other. It's different supportive yeah. stuff. So it's been, it's been a blessing to have you on the channel, share your story. Um, to, she didn't have hair last, that very no, good hair I last time. I lost all my hair. <laughs> and so you have to have your hair back and you were really, really skinny. Uh-huh. And so you, and you look so much better. You, and you were actually, Michael goes, at one point you were gray looking. I was. Um, and so we were and kind I, of scared and nervous. My eyes were sunk and everything. And you look so much better. And Thank um, you. you have color in your cheeks. You have hair on your head. You have more energy. You, I do. Yeah. You look more vibrant. You, mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe not bouncing like we used to a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah, but, no. <laughs> but, but feel vibrant in where mm-hmm. you're at. Right. So that's what it's about. Well, I hope that this has inspired you to take care of your health naturally and add some supplementation. And thanks, Naomi, for being on. 
Oh, not a problem. Thank you, Naomi, for being an awesome daughter-in-law and helping me. Whoop, I lost it. <laughs> I'm going to hit...